Did you find the mistakes in the picture? Did you find the different things? I will show you the differences. The leaf on the tree, the ear on the squirrel, the acorn and the foot and something on the trunk of the branch, something missing on the branch. Branch, foot, acorn, ear and the leaf on the tree. Those are the five things that was different yesterday. Let's start the lesson. Good morning students, it's me, teacher Richard. Do you know what day it is today? Today is Tuesday the 22nd of February 2022. And today we will read a little bit and we will practice reading. And I want you to focus on the punctuation marks when we do the reading. It's like traffic rules for reading. When you see a comma, you have to make a pause. And when you see an apostrophe, it means two words in one, a contraction. And you should pronounce the last letter loudly. So if you say can't, you should pronounce the T loudly at the end. Can't. And if you say I'm, you have to pronounce the M loudly. I'm. So at the strophe, pronounce the last letter loudly. Full stop or a period means that you stop and take a breath. Full stop means stop. Please pause the reading and then continue. Exclamation mark for strong feelings. And you can read it many times a bit louder. If you have an exclamation mark, it's a strong feeling. Love, hate, a strong sound many times. And we use question marks for questions. If it is a question, please use a question mark. And this will be on the final exam. Exam, please focus on the punctuation marks when we read. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Take out your uh, student book and open your student book on page 61. Let's read Digger's World. Please open your student book at page 61. And if you don't have your student book, you can look at the screen. I will show the page on the screen as well. And let's read together. Please follow me, my friends. So let's look at page 61 in the student book, Digger's World, story time. And the first thing we will do is listen and repeat. So I want you to listen to the conversation and then read and repeat the conversation. Please look at picture number one. Review four, page 55. Story time. Digger's World. A. Listen and repeat. Number one. Max, this is Doc. I'm a doctor. Nice to meet you, Doc. That was number one. Please listen and repeat to number two. Number two. What's your last name? Adams. I'm Max Adams. That 
That's number two. Listen and repeat. Number three. Number three. Number three. Ouch! Listen and repeat. Number four. Number four. That's Pat. She's a mail carrier. She, she can, can ride, ride a, a bike. bike. Number five. Number five. Can you ride a bike? No, I can't. Number six. I'm going now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that's the conversation for three units. Very good to practice the conversation. And we will focus on the punctation. We will read it one more time with me. So let's do it one more time. So this time you will read with me. So listen and repeat. Let's look at picture number one. Listen and repeat. Repeat after me. Max, this is Doc. I'm a doctor. Nice to meet you, Doc. Let's look at picture number two. And repeat after me. What's your last name? Adams. I'm Max Adams. Excellent. Practice reading a few times. Remember, pause after comma. Pronounce the M in I'm loudly and make a stop at the period. And when it's a question, make it sound like a question. What's your last name? Let's continue. Follow me, please. Number three, repeat after me. Ouch! Number four, repeat after me. That's Pat. She's a mail carrier. She can ride a bike. Look at picture number five. Repeat after me. Can you ride a bike? No, I can't. I'm going now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you in level two. Excellent. So I want you to practice reading and focus on the punctation. And see the punctation as traffic rules when you read. Exclamation mark, use a loud voice. Question mark for questions and make it sound like a question. What's your name? Can you ride a bike? Pause after comma, full stop when there's a period. And when we read, it should be fun to listen to you when you read. So make it interesting to read. Make your voice interesting. Practice reading a few times. Practice, practice, and make it fun to listen. Okay. Thank you, students, and I will see you tomorrow online. Goodbye, my friends. Can you read these sentences? Can you read number one? 
the first sentence says the car is red but something's missing what's missing at the end of sentence one the car is red what should we put at the end of the sentence the period we should have a full stop after the car is red it's a full sentence if we put the period at the end can you read number two it says where is the dog what should we have at the end of that sentence where is the dog it's a question we need to have a question mark at the end of the question what should we have after I love ice cream? I love ice cream. I think it's a strong feeling. Love is a strong feeling. I love ice cream. Exclamation mark. I want an exclamation mark after strong feelings. Number four, can you read? What time is it? What should we have at the end? What time is it? It's a question. Question mark, please. Can you read number five? You're great. That sounds like a strong feeling. And when you have strong feelings, sometimes you speak a bit louder. So when you read it, you say, should say, you're great. Give a big smile. And what does sentence number six say? Cats like milk. What should we have at the end? A period. Full stop. Cats like milk. Full stop. Please practice punctuation. It will be on the final exam next week. Take care. Love you. See you tomorrow.